Let's see YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent. Mail back. Again I came back from a journey and this was what I found in my mailbox. Let's start with the biggest one. This lithium cell stuff gets more important and more important. I just was on a plane yesterday and uh, it was forbidden to use uh, the new Samsung Galaxy mobile phone. So if you own one, you cannot take it on your journey. And here also, they have to declare now that there is no lithium in it. Let's check. Lots of Sonoff stuff. Ah! Next gen, next gen, Sonoff, 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 and some 8285 modules, and another Sonoff. And the second big one. Wow, LEDs, plastic, a special Sonoff, another Sonoff, again a Sonoff, and another Sonoff. Many Sonoff devices. So let's start with uh, the Sonoff. The original Sonoff, which is just a switch, 220 volt input, 220 volt output, and a small ESP in it. So you can switch off, for example, a lamp or something. The next one is also one of the original Sonoffs, and this has in addition a 433 megahertz receiver. I don't know exactly how I will use this one. These both do not have a CE sign, so might be a problem in Europe. But now the new Sonoffs, they all have a CE sign. Let's start with this one. This is the TH16, which means temperature and humidity sensor. And here we have a temperature and humidity sensor which is an AM2301 which can be plugged in here on the side and then you can measure temperature and humidity and there is a second sensor available which is for water temperature. You can also connect it here and then you can measure temperature or humidity and directly react and switch on and off uh, your lamp or your motor or whatever. It has 16 ampere, which is more than enough on 220 volt. The next one is a dual, where you have not only one switched channel, but you have two switched channels. So you can have a lamp and uh, something else, for example your TV or something else, you switch on and off. The third new one is a very interesting one. It has not a temperature or humidity sensor, but it can measure the power which is used by the connected device. So, for example, you can monitor the energy consumption of one device. You just connect it to here and then you can measure power. So far it's not easy because it has a Chinese power sensor in it, but maybe we've, we will find a way to use it also for our purposes. The last one is also a new device, which is basically a Sonoff device and has a LED driver and it comes also with LED strips. Will also be an interesting device. And all of these devices you will see in one or a few videos, probably not only one videos, where I really want to dig into these Sonoffs. The first will be with this one, where I want to switch my 
LEDs in the lab with a PIR sensor. This is the enhanced version of the Nexion display and I heard that the library is updated so I will give it a try. Oh, shunt resistors. But uh, they are somehow damaged. You see here? The package is broken and resistors are falling out. But it's not so important because anyway I will never use these 100 pieces. They should be 0.1 ohm for shunt resistors but unfortunately they are 100 ohms so completely nonsense this will be a dispute on Aliexpress I want the money back next one this is a off-topic device it is it can be used to test iPhone batteries. It has many different plugs here, these very small plugs which are used now in the smartphones and then you can connect batteries and basically it's an electronic load but with these small connectors. Next one wires from Banggood I already have uh, quite a lot of these wires and uh, I like them very much and the price performance is extremely good. They are really silicon wires and I use them in many projects. These are now 12 AWG, 14 AWG, 16 AWG, so different sizes and I want to have them always here. Next one. Uh -huh. Again, shunt resistors, hopefully this time the right ones. Now these are the right ones, 0.1 ohm, but they are through hole and I wanted also to have SMD, so I just uh, opened a dispute and I'm pretty sure that I will get the money back. I was asked several times my experience with Aliexpress. I always got my money back if something was wrong, either wrong delivered or dead on arrival. So um, no problem so, so far with Aliexpress and you can imagine I have already many many orders from there. Next one. Additional Wemos Minis. I like these boards for the moment because they are quite small and have all the necessary pins on the outside. Next one. This is a very interesting device. It is a range detector where you can measure distances but it's not working with ultrasonic it is working with light and they have a small chip here which really measures the speed of light very interesting technology I will for sure do a video about that if it works because I want to build a lidar system with that it should measure very fast and uh, has an I squared C interface I have to confess I waited quite a long time for this module from ST because this one I got in, in, in the first delivery I ordered already this one but you see a clear difference and this one is just a cheap sensor for light and this one should be now the right one so pay attention that you do not get this APS 3216 this is the right stuff here hopefully by the way the dispute was accepted and I got my money back for this one next one a mini soldering iron 
nicely packaged so I put it together and this is a real small soldering iron and it is a very special soldering iron because it has a display here and it has some buttons here and this is a very intelligent or supposed to be a very intelligent soldering iron I will make a special video about soldering irons because I, I am asked also from my viewers what kind of soldering iron I use and so on my experiences and this is why I ordered this ST100 I think it's called TS100 from Banggood and um, this seems to be really innovative by the way this is a quite expensive device it is about $65 but they had it on sale and I got it for about $45 next one power adapter but not for my country this is I think from for Germany they have thicker plugs here let's look I think I know what it is but let's check yes exactly this is a second soldering iron also from Banggood and this is to compare this one this is a very cheap one is less than ten dollars and I want to compare this one with this small one and uh, this will be a, another video ah the right plug is here so I do not need this one next this is jelly to clean my keyboard I wonder if this will work I have to admit it works you just rub like that on your keyboard and afterwards it's clean and it goes also in these deep holes here in between the different keys I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you bye now it's